You might not think it by the guilty look on your dog's face after you catch it doing something it shouldn't, but various scientific studies have concluded that most animals aren't actually capable of experiencing complex emotions like embarrassment. But whether you're convinced of that or not, the critters of our world sure do get themselves into some pretty embarrassing situations from time to time. From the hilarious to the gross, the animals coming up in this video combine fails and fur, so join me as we take a look at some of the most embarrassing moments for wildlife. The Poop Shoe Sure, we humans may have the brains, but do we have butts that can project poop up to 14 feet away? Turns out this, uh, talent is a reality for penguins, and they're not shy about it either. When Mother Nature calls, the penguin will gracefully hunch forwards, elevate its rear, and... Isn't nature beautiful? The birds are thought to have developed this high-pressure defecation to direct their waste away from their nests. But with penguins typically living in large colonies, their flying diarrhea can often make a crash landing in the faces of other penguins. <laughs> Wow, just wow. Worst part is, it's clearly not the first time that little guy's taken a direct steaming impact, yet he refuses to move. Either he's the most stubborn penguin in town or he's into it. Either way, these penguins are clearly a pretty filthy bunch and should be deeply ashamed. I, for one, will be declining my invite to the penguin poop party this year. The Wheel of Misfortune with approximately 11 million households around the globe having a pet hamster, the little rodents are a popular choice. But did you know hamsters can run up to five and a half miles in a 24 hour period? Which relative to size is equivalent to climbing Mount Everest. Only for most domesticated hamsters, this crazy distance is covered via whirling on their wheels. However, when multiple hamsters simultaneously decide it's time for a jog, things can take a turn for the worst. I mean, the little dude's ability to walk it off as if nothing happened is certainly impressive. But if someone humiliated me like that while exercising, I'd never work out again. Which is, in fact, why I never go to the gym. Some things can't be forgotten. Go nuts for nuts. It's no secret that squirrels love nuts and seeds. So with many gardeners having bird feeders brimming with nuts, seeds, and other perfectly squirrely foods, those fluffy tail fellows simply can't resist the temptation. But as you'll see, they're not always the slickest about it. Safe to say that could have gone better. That being said, Charles Oliver, who captured the clip, is well acquainted with the squirrels in his Massachusetts garden and claims he often observes them getting flung from the feeder and racing to get back on. Not only do they seem to get a thrill, but they also manage to shake a few nuts onto the ground. It's a win-win situation. Or a win-win-win situation if you include the entertainment we viewers get from it. Frog Fright Frogs are known for their croaking noises, but did you know that they can actually scream? No, really. And if you don't believe me, then just check out this next clip. Oh, what a baby. But was the frog actually afraid of the toy tortoise? Well, frogs only scream for certain reasons, one of those being to warn off predators. But perhaps a more embarrassing explanation could be that this was the frog's mating call. Having said that, him running away probably isn't a sign that the date's going well. 
But this isn't the only time that our froggy friends have found themselves in embarrassing situations. Just take a look at this next fella who ventured inside a VHS player, only to get stuck, thanks to his, um, thick rear end. Damn, son. Better move on before this curvy amphibian breaks the internet. Raining Pandas True, they might be the undisputed kung fu champs, but pandas aren't generally known for their sharp wit or intelligence. In fact, a to zanimals.com ranks them as the third dumbest animal in the world. Ouch. And while it seems mean, the evidence really is stacked against them. I mean, just take a look at this next clip. Yeah, that's going to hurt in the morning. Due to their, um, shall we say, blissful innocence, pandas are constantly getting themselves into hilarious situations, and their occasional lack of coordination and risk assessment doesn't help. But if you need an extra dose, just check out ipanda.com, a website dedicated to daily panda content. I didn't have weekend plans, but I sure do now. Fish Supper if you were to think of animal predators, you'd probably think along the lines of lions, tigers, and sharks, right? But snails? Ha! Huh, don't make me laugh. But it turns out there's a species of sea snail that's actually a deadly predator. The cone shell snail. Still don't believe me? Well, feast your eyes. can't feel good to have to say you were killed by a snail, can it? Especially given that the fish looked like it could have easily swam away, but it just lied there and took it. However, there's actually a reasonable explanation. Cone shell snails prey on sleeping fish, so the fish was completely unaware that it was being devoured, until it was too late. Once the snail has its victim in its grip, it injects a powerful venom that paralyzes the prey to stop it squirming. So while it's slowly being digested, the fish has plenty of time to ask itself a lot of frank questions about the life choices that brought it to this point. Much like me after six whiskey sours. Slippin' in Canada. We've all been there. You're strolling along, then out of nowhere, you're on a one-way trip to Faceplant City. There's nothing more embarrassing. However, it's not just we humans that fall victim to this social faux pas, which, quite frankly, will never not be funny. Just take a look at this next clip. Okay, Michael. Uh, Come on. Oh, oh, what a sin. Oh, oh ah, what a sin, Jamie. It's not, it's too icy for him. Yeah, well, if he falls up against my car, he's going to... Ah. Yep, in 2012, this Canadian couple noticed there was a moose on the loose outside their hoose, and they decided to capture the dangerous yet majestic creature. Only this guy was more like Bambi on ice. And while the woman filming was certainly sympathetic towards the creature, her husband seemed more concerned about the moose riding off his car. Yeah, well, if he falls up against my car, he's going to ah! ah, that good old Canadian appreciation of nature. Pet Encounters of the Derp Kind From their high jumps to their stealthy nature, cats are generally pretty slick. However, they're not always as well put together as they'd have you believe. Just check out this clip of a cat who seemed to be having a hard time grasping how gaps work. <laughs> Oh, 
The narrow opening proved quite a challenge and, as you saw, the cat eventually admitted defeat. But that cat's not the only one struggling with spaces. Just watch this next dog, Wally the Weimaraner, who was on a mission to get his plank of wood through the door. But even with physics working against him, Wally wasn't going to give up that easy. Way to bring it back, Wally. That could have been really embarrassing. Back to cats, though, and here's yet another embarrassing moment for their scorecards. When it comes to hunting, it's kind of their thing, right? So much so, sources claim cats are one of the best developed species in the department. And while that's usually the case, this next cat isn't quite like the rest. Okay, so this cat's a lover, not a fighter. However, for a species that prides itself in its hunting abilities, I'm sorry, little fellow, but this was pretty embarrassing. You just got dominated by a pigeon. What would your fellow alley cats think? Small and feisty. For birds like eagles, classified as birds of prey, they tend to carry around a bad guy reputation. I mean, they do viciously prey on the flesh of other animals. However, in a video captured in early 2022, one bald eagle's bad boy rep was drawn into question after being snapped getting bullied by a tiny mockingbird. Oof, that's gotta sting the pride a little bit. Yep, they don't call them mockingbirds for nothing. In fact, these tiny little birds are actually known to be very territorial, even at times attacking animals like cats. So it's really no surprise that this feisty little fella is daring enough to bully the huge bald eagle. In nature, animals will often assess whether a situation is worth sticking around in by how much press's energy would be expended in doing so. So for the bald eagle, tolerating this feisty little bird or killing it was simply more effort than finding a new hangout spot. Still, nobody really wants to make the flight of shame, do they? See you later, alligator. In the animal kingdom, animals are always getting eaten by others. It's, as the Lion King would say, the circle of life. However, when you're getting preyed on by your own species, well, there's not really a bigger sign that you're the loser in your social group than that. But it's exactly what happened to one alligator in Lakeland, Florida. Yep, onlookers were stunned as they observed a giant gator ruthlessly dragging a much smaller gator in its mouth. But if alligators are apex predators and have plenty of species to prey on, why would one choose to cannibalize? Well, there are a few reasons. One might be to quite literally get rid of competition. 
Whether it's for food or mating, the fewer alligators around, the better. Unfortunately, as is likely the case with this clip, infant alligators are often the target of these attacks. Worse still, sometimes when a mother gator lacks food or can no longer care for her baby, she will literally eat the baby. Well, that's one way to get rid of the problem. But really, who's the bigger loser? The gator getting eaten or the one who refuses to pick on someone its own size? Anyway, on a lighter note, check out this next alligator, hilariously named Seven, who seemed to get quite embarrassed during feeding time at the Everglades Holiday Park. Take a look. Oh, now he's sad. <laughs> you guys are so upset. He's so offended right he's now. So upset. Seven, come here. Seven. Aw, look at the little fella. He's so embarrassed about his bad bite aim that he goes and hides in the water out of shame. While alligators' keen eyesight often makes them adept hunters, it seems this one could do with some spectacles. Oh dear, oh dear. With predators such as coyotes, cougars, and worst of all, gun-wielding humans, deer need to be well-equipped for survival. And something that greatly aids them in escaping predators is their remarkable jumping ability, which can spring them around 10 feet in the air. Predictably, with great jump height comes great goof ability. So deer occasionally suffer mishaps with some pretty embarrassing consequences. Take a look. He's running towards my fence. That look says it all. Caught in a compromising position, this deer in Texas was eventually rescued by a push from the neighbors and scampered out of sight, presumably to hang its head in shame. Now, when it comes to clearing fences, little fawns are understandably even less skilled than adult deer. That being said, I can't help but laugh at this clip captured by Joe Clark back in 2017. So close and yet so far. Okay, let's see that one more time. Oh, it's just too good. Adorable and hilarious. But the list of embarrassing deer fails only continues. Back in 2017, Stacy Lee DeRemer was driving home through Wisconsin when she spotted something particularly weird. That was a wild deer showing some fake deer a real good time. <laughs> Here he goes again. Here he goes. <laughs> oh my God. I got a car coming now. I got to go. Oh, that's so funny. Um, yeah, I think the less said the better with this one. Moving swiftly on, this next piece of deer embarrassment happened in 2021, when a wild deer inadvertently broke into a Christian fellowship church in Michigan and freaked out like he was sent there by Satan himself. Check it out. Oh my word! What is happening? That is a buck! No, don't go up there! Don't go up there! He went through the window in the auditorium. Oh my goodness. Yes! Yep, this deer bizarrely busted into the church through a window and caused chaos as it literally bounced up the walls. Eventually, he figured the way out and scampered back to whence he came. But what was he doing in there in the first place? Well, my theory is that it's the same deer from that previous clip, because after what he did to those replica deer, Lord knows he needed Jesus. Pain in the neck. There are few things more embarrassing than getting stuck somewhere, 
And that's exactly what happened to one fox in Beverly, Massachusetts when he got his head stuck in a drain. It's not entirely uncommon to see foxes down drains as they often make dens in small spaces out of sight. Seems this guy was on his way out when his noggin got stuck, leaving him suspended there like a floating head. <laughs> After being spotted by locals, the Beverly Animal Control were called to the scene where they managed to slowly wheedle his head out the drain with a mixture of soap, water, and olive oil. Are you flying for water? Good, are you? It's working, it's working. There it is. Oh, man. Yeah. Woo -hoo. You want to play the night? Whoa. Where you going with him? Let him go. And after they'd basted him up, it wasn't long until he was free and skedaddled back into the wild, presumably to find another hole to get his head stuck in. It certainly seems possible given the same thing actually happened in 2019 in Massachusetts, but with a raccoon. Infamous scavengers, raccoons are often found venturing down drains in order to find scraps of food. And sometimes their eyes are bigger than their bellies, and their bellies are bigger than their heads. Nowhere was that ever truer than in 2017 when the Zion Police Department in Illinois were called to save a raccoon that couldn't get out of a drain because its tummy was much too large. Um, I'm pretty sure I pulled that exact face when I tried to get into an old pair of jeans after Thanksgiving dinner. Thankfully, with a little greasing, both of those raccoons made it out alive where they could reflect on their climbing and eating habits or most likely just gorge themselves on whatever other food was in a trash can nearby. Gosh darn trash pandas, when will you ever learn? Four legs, zero dignity. For the most part, dogs are incredibly intelligent creatures, but even their problem-solving skills, memory, and abilities to complete complex commands have their limits. Take for example this dog from Maryland. Sirius Black is a puggle, also known as a pug crossed with a beagle, and found himself in a bit of a sticky situation. Check out the video. So my dog stepped on the mouse traps that I had, the sticky kind. Come here. Come here. Come here. You're the dumbest creature alive. Yep, poor old Sirius couldn't be taken seriously as he was found stuck to a bench of glue-based mousetraps. And despite dogs being excellent problem solvers, Sirius seemed to be stuck on this one. Another dog that seemingly got into a sticky situation was this dog who quite evidently broke into his owner's bubblegum stash, finding himself with bubbles quite literally blowing out of his butt. However, realistically, this is almost certainly an impossible feat, so presumably there's been a touch of Photoshop magic here in this viral pic. Even so, dogs can undoubtedly get themselves into wacky chaotic situations of their own, like this pooch named Cole, who caused quite a scene when it came time to take his medication. Cole, eat your medicine. Eat your medicine. You gotta take it, so you're healthy. Eat your medicine, Cole. Come on. Be a good boy. Take your medicine. He eventually came around, but what a drama queen, right? But while Cole kicks up a fuss about his medication, he's got nothing on the belligerent chaos caused by one feral pig back in 2013. On an Australian campsite, a wild pig broke into a six pack of beers that had been left by some campers before stumbling around the site completely inebriated. The drunken pig apparently became quite aggressive, ransacking a few trash cans before starting a fight with a cow. Following this, the little porker took a dip in a nearby river, then as a finale to this wild night out, blacked out under a tree. A little too relatable if you ask me. That'll do, pig. That'll do. I'm a survivor. As we've already discussed, being eaten by another animal is a common fate in the wild. 
And sure, there's nothing particularly embarrassing about that, but when you're eaten by a frog and come out alive in its poop, well, that's probably not a story you're going to bring out on a first date. But as much as I wish I was making this up, in 2020, researchers at Kobe University in Japan made a truly bizarre discovery. According to their research, 90% of the time, when frogs eat a type of water beetle known as Regambarsha attenuata, the beetle can actually survive in the frog's gut and therefore be, um, rebirthed in the frog's poop up to six hours later. Be honest, there's a part of you that's dying to see the process, right? Well, don't say I never give you nothing. Feast your eyes on this. Man, we've all had plenty of bad days, but they don't even compare to that. I'm not sure that beetle knew exactly what was going on, but all I can tell you is that if I were that beetle, crawling out of frog's slimy cloaca certainly wouldn't be my proudest moment. I mean, it's nice to be able to continue living after being eaten and all, but at what cost? A balanced life. When it comes to bears, many wildlife biologists argue they're one of the most intelligent land animals in North America. With brands that are regularly compared to those of higher primates, bears are able to perform complex tasks, which is probably one of the reasons why they were able to be trained to balance on balls and ride bikes in the circus, cruel though that may be. That being said, bears aren't always so attuned to figuring things out. Case in point, the moment this curious group of bears stumbled upon a hammock in the woods. Yep, these three bear cubs were spotted by a family back in 2021 when they heard noises outside their holiday cabin. As the mama bear watched on, her three little ones got to playing with the curious contraption, also known as the hammock, as it tossed them around and to the ground. Hey, we can laugh at these bears all we want, but we'd be lying if we said we haven't all been in a similar situation at some point or another. Similarly showing a total lack of balance, we have this emu, who might not be quite cut out for the illustrious soccer career it was hoping for. Mm. Oof, let's move on. I'm getting flashbacks to high school gym class. <laughs> Flying Rhino. It's no secret that the wild rhino populations of our world are at threat due to poachers and conservationists have been working to save the species. While their work is certainly vital, one of the ways in which they're rehabilitating rhinos is, well, I'm sorry, pretty darn hilarious. Let me explain. In the 90s, conservationists began moving rhinos from poaching hotspots to safer locations. Now, I don't know if you've ever tried to pick up one of these guys, but let me tell you, they're pretty heavy, sometimes weighing in at over three tons. So to shift these humongous ungulates elsewhere, the easiest thing to do is to have them airlifted which, if you haven't seen, is kinda hysterical. I mean, sure, there's nothing funny about saving animals on the verge of extinction. However, the thought of a huge rhino strung up by its feet gracefully flying through the sky with a blindfold on, well, that's pretty funny if you ask me. The Goat Line While it's true that goats don't exactly exude an aura of intellect, they're actually not as dumb as many believe. In fact, recent studies find their intelligence could be comparable to that of a dog. But just as goats were starting to make a good name for themselves, a Greek goat had to go and ruin it in 2016 by getting itself stuck on a power line. And like me, you're probably wondering, how did it even get up there? Well, no one knows, but it's not the first time a goat has wound up in such a situation, and it probably won't be the last. Locals suspected the Greek power line goat had climbed up a steep hill that the line was connected to and somehow zip-lined down the cable like a scene from Home Alone. Thankfully, the suspended bleeder was rescued from the wire without any issues. As the kids are saying these days, that goat really was the goat. The goat on a telephone wire. Got milk? While a cat drinking from a saucer of milk is a cultural image as old as time, drinking cow's milk is actually terrible for cats. Due to its high fat content and the fact that cats are lactose intolerant, it can result in an upset stomach and at worst, vomiting and diarrhea. Even so, kitties can't get enough of the stuff when offered. 
And judging by this next clip, they'll do anything to get their grubby little paws on the stuff, even right from the source. <laughs> Yep, this cat from Brazil is said to go into the cow pen every day to guzzle the milk straight from the cow's udder, which is not only incredibly messy and gross to look at, but fairly dangerous too. Raw, unpasteurized milk can carry dangerous bacteria such as salmonella, E. coli, and listeria, to name a few. But regardless, it's never a good look to drink milk straight from a cow's udders. I can't help thinking the first human to give cow's milk a try probably adopted a similar approach and presumably got some strange looks from his fellow tribesmen. And while we're on the topic of cows, get a load of this next story. Back in 2015, British engineer John Wyler was on his way back to work when he came across an unusual sight, a white and brown escapee cow tangled in a bike frame. John was tickled by the sight wondering how this bizarre scene came to be and what the heck happened to the bike's owner. In the end, the cow managed to shake the bike off and was returned to its farmer, but by that point, John had already snapped the moment, humiliating the poor cow forever after the pic was shared online. For shame, John, for shame. Horse in the Hole Ah, horses, is there a more beautiful, majestic creature? What's more, online sources claim they're one of the smartest creatures thanks to their ability to learn quickly and remember things for a substantial time. Be that as it may, they aren't always so sharp. Just check out this horse called Daisy who embarrassingly fell into a hole back in 2015. The four foot wide hole had opened in the ground due to an underground spring and Daisy had toppled right in, being left to helplessly struggle with an expression of utter shame. Eventually, a vehicle towing company were called out who strapped up Daisy and had her out of there in no time. Let's just hope Dozy Daisy looks where she's going next time. Which of these embarrassing animal moments did you find the funniest? Have you ever witnessed any of your own? Let me know in the comments section below, and thanks for watching.